The one thing you learn from astronomy, from the universe at large, is a sense of modesty. Uh, there are more planets like the Earth in the observable volume of the universe than there are grains of sand on all beaches on Earth. And therefore, arrogance makes no sense. Uh, feeling superior relative to another person makes no sense. Um, and uh, we are uh, such a small piece of the big picture and the philosophical view of that big picture is what gives me the underlying uh, humility with which we examine and wonder about the world. And, you know, the, what we know in science is just an island in an ocean of ignorance. And so we should always allow for nature to educate us when we see something that we didn't expect, anomalous. Mm -hmm. Most people prefer to stay in their comfort zone and just say, well, you know, it's probably nothing interesting. And uh, when, I, when there was a seminar about uh, Oumuamua, the object that we will discuss, at Harvard, I left the room after the seminar with one of my colleagues that worked for decades on rocks within the solar system. Uh, and he said, Oumuamua is so weird, I wish it never existed. Mm -hmm. And to me, that was appalling because a scientist should welcome new anomalies because that's our way of finding something completely new, discovering something new. And if you're not ready to discover something new, you will never discover it. And so the philosophical perspective allows me to see the bigger picture. Most people uh, drill into a niche that is technical and do not see sideways. And uh, since I worked on many different uh, areas of astrophysics, I realized that when you pioneer a new frontier, uh, there is a lot of pushback. People resist it because it doesn't conform with what they are used to. Some people resist it because of jealousy, because you know they were not involved in the development of this new frontier. But mm -hmm. ultimately, it's the evidence, uh, the fact that nature gives us clues that uh, make this frontier exciting. And when I wrote the book, I told the publisher, if I manage to convince one kid somewhere in the world to become a scientist, as a result of reading my book, I will be satisfied. So my book serves uh, two purposes. One, to explain uh, that this object, Oumuamua, was the reason that uh, I wrote the book and is an unusual object that could be of uh, technological origin and therefore should change our conception about searching for technological signatures. It, I, I mentioned Oumuamua's wager, which is similar to Pascal's wager, uh, arguing that the implications of it being a technological relic are so great that we cannot give up on the opportunity to explore it. This is something that we must find out. Are we alone? Are we the smartest kid on the block? And one way to find out is by investigating all the objects that enter into our backyard from the street. And once we find out that we are not alone and that we might not be the smartest kid on the block, there would be huge implications to humanity. This is the biggest discovery that we can make. Uh, for me, um, space is just like Earth. It's uh, other environments that we could explore uh, in the same way that uh, people left Europe and explored uh, the Americas. And the technologies that may exist out there could help us also here on Earth. As uh, Oscar Wilde said, uh, we are all in the gutter, but some of us are looking at the stars. For me, nature is not only what we find here on Earth. Nature extends into space. It's much bigger than what we find here on Earth, and it's fascinating to explore it. Thinking about space is allowing us to move in that direction because there are lots of risks of staying here on Earth, and we should explore alternatives uh, of where to go and how to go there. So um, I think um, uh, thinking about space is not dizzying in any way. It's actually our next frontier.